Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. And just wanted to do an update um, and just a, a longer term review of the FT-007 boat here. Um, we have uh, just experienced some issues with it. I just wanted to give some feedback. Um, the boat started going a little bit haywire during our last run. Uh, so um, I'm gonna have to go with uh, not, you know, not really recommending this. Um, you know, a couple other things too, you, you'll notice, uh, you know, there's, there's some corrosion here, even though we rinse this out uh, after every run, you probably just wanna hit it with some, you know, WD-40 or whatnot. Um, just, uh, you know, if you do have a boat like this, just to um, keep corrosion from, from forming on it. Uh, another thing was that, you know, it was nice having this 2.4 gigahertz controller, uh, but, uh, you know, one thing that we found is that uh, it, it takes six AAA batteries, right? And actually, um, our Sanyo and our Tenergy cells would, uh, our, our rechargeables wouldn't fit in this, so we had to use the alkaline cells. Uh, so not not the biggest fan of this. Uh, you know, usually 2.4 gigahertz transmitters will only take four double A's, and you could put rechargeables in there. Um, this took six, and we had to use non-rechargeable batteries. So um, not the biggest fan there. Uh, also, you know, the the body, you know, there's there's this foam whatnot to to try and keep moisture out. But really, when you open up the boat, uh, there there is quite a lot of water in there, right? Um, and actually. Uh, one thing is that sometimes on reversing, the boat would actually be pulled entirely underwater. Um, so, you know, just a couple things to consider. I mean, this this is a fun little boat, uh, but it, you know, it does have a, a few drawbacks. Uh, it, it did have this nose cone protector, which you can pop on and off, um, which uh, which is nice. You know, you can see a couple of, of scars on this already, but, um, you know, at the end of the day, um, uh, probably ha gonna have to go with, uh, you know, not recommending this. Uh, you know, boats are a little bit difficult uh, for for younger users to begin with, just because you you, you can get a boat stranded, right? If it loses, uh, if you if you run out of batteries, although this does have a, a low voltage cutoff, well, it'll start running slower uh, once the the battery gets to a lower voltage uh, to make sure that you're not stranded. But you know, we did have this stranded a couple times too. Um, so, uh, in, you know, we had to wait for the boat to come to shore, uh, and we were fortunate enough to be in a place where it, it could come to shore. Um, if you're, you know, if you're in a situation where it can't, you might have to go after this boat or lose it. Uh, so just a couple final thoughts. Thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let us know if you guys, uh, you know, what you guys thought of this video and, uh, stay tuned for more episodes. Thanks again for watching.